You're watching the KUSI News at 5. We've just gotten the new coronavirus case numbers into the newsroom. Out of San Diego County, we now have 341 cases. That's 44 more than yesterday. We're going to, of course, have a full story on this coming up in just a few minutes. I just want to give you those latest numbers. I know so many of us are tracking those and curious about that. And with coronavirus forcing the closure of most American offices, millions of Americans are now telecommuting. Some of you have done it before, maybe once a week or every now and then, but a lot of people never have until now. Joining me now by phone is Ashley Virtue from the National Conflict Resolution Center to talk about how to be a better communicator during these challenging times, especially when we're having a video conference with your coworkers. Ashley, thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. Okay, so what are some good tips for people who may have never telecommuted before and are emailing and video conferencing now with people really for the first time? Right. Yeah, there are a lot of people who've been kind of thrust into this situation very, very quickly and are learning to adapt really fast. And, um, you know, there are technological challenges that come with that. But there's really also communication challenges that come along with it. And that's our area of expertise at the National Conflict Resolution Center. So we have some tips along those communication lines to just help people as they ease into this transition. And the first one is all about expectations. It's to set clear expectations expectations each and every day. And so if you are a manager or a supervisor, be very clear with your staff. Be checking in with them. Let them know how you expect them to check in with you. Acknowledge that people have different communication styles in person, so they will also have different communication styles digitally. And so um, be really clear about what you need from them. Uh, same with colleagues. And honestly, this goes beyond just uh, the workplace. If you are starting to do community organizing groups, um, social service organizations, volunteer projects, remotely, um, same thing. Really be clear about your, your expectations for folks so everyone knows what's expected of them. So now let's talk about this. With, as far as staying calm and acknowledge it's a fluid situation, that's something that you bring up. People are, I would think, having to change or at least tweak their communication skills to still be effective. You know, you're not face to face. You're not even right now I'm using my hands, all this stuff, but we're not able to really <laughs> feel the vibe in the room or maybe notice right. everybody's exact um, nonverbal communication skills. How do you deal with that? Right. I mean, I've even been on some conference calls, video calls, where I can see people, and there's still this delay or this lag in response time that you wouldn't get if you were just in person. It can feel kind of awkward. And so I, the best advice that we have is to just acknowledge that it exists. Um, acknowledge that, you know, this is a fluid situation and it's not going to feel exactly the same, especially at first. And especially uh, if you have some confusion about maybe what something meant, if you heard a tone of voice that you weren't sure about, or you felt like there was, um, you know, maybe an, a glance or a look or a delay that you weren't sure about, do not assume the worst in people. Don't assume it means something or something you need to take offense to. Just have a conversation around it. If you feel like it needs to be clarified. And so would you say, uh, should you work from home in your PJs? Is that okay? <laughs> would not recommend working from home, um, especially if you're going to be on video conference calls. <laughs> it definitely still need to be able to uh, dress for success. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of good tips out there about still getting up each morning, follow a routine, get dressed, um, you know, prepare your breakfast, exercise if you exercise in the morning, and then log in when you would normally log in and really be ready to sit down and address your work day as if you were in the office um, with these alterations in mind. All right. These are good tips, Ashley, good for people to keep in mind. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.